Being boomers showing distaste for aging gracefully, these are boom times for anyone selling elixirs of life. We introduce post electromagnetic fields into your body. Bob McDonald casts a skeptical eye on the anti-aging game. I've never done anything different, and I'm 57 years old. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm 103. I'm Anne-Marie McDonald. This talk zone samples magical mystery cures. You know something? I think I'm going a little gray. Don't quite look like those high school pictures anymore. You know something else I've noticed? If I drop something on the floor, then bend down to pick it up, <laughs> when did I start making that noise? And my knees are killing me. Yeah, there's no getting around the fact I'm getting older. And I'm not alone. There are millions of us baby boomers out there doing the same thing. But we're not just gonna lay down and die. We're gonna go out kicking and fighting every step of the way using every bit of science and technology that we can find. And if exercise isn't for you, there are countless creams, food supplements, and gadgets to preserve your youth for the price of a pill. But how many of these products actually work? Or how many are just good old-fashioned snake oil science? Anti-aging technologies and therapies are a $20 billion a year industry and growing fast. Some work on the outside of your body to change your appearance. Others claim to heal from within. There are products that claim to cleanse your body of toxins, add vitality to your life. Some even claim to reverse the aging process itself. But here's something to remember. In Canada, these products are not considered drugs or pharmaceuticals. They're nutraceuticals, or cosmeceuticals. According to Health Canada, they come under the category of natural health products, which includes quite a variety of products from vitamins, herbal remedies, even toothpaste. They have to be registered and they have to show their ingredients on the label. But because they're not drugs, they don't have to be scientifically proven, nor do they have to publish in peer-reviewed scientific journals. They only have to be safe to cause no harm. Now, they are allowed to claim some health benefits. I like this one. It says brain power. I could use more of that but they're not allowed to say that they can cure any disease. So if your product doesn't have to be scientifically proven, you can say almost anything. And what it does is it binds to amyloid beta proteins, and those proteins have been shown to bind to your, your brain cells in the hippocampal region. All the mathematical codes of everything behind collagen and elastin that help stimulate your skin to make collagen and elastin, all those ingredients have been mathematically coded. We can't take someone who's 65 and make them look 25, but we can definitely take 10 to 15 years off the skin. But often the cells are already like filled with garbage cans. <laughs> so we need to you know, get the garbage out by moving the cells we were able to detoxify the cells. Okay. Every year, there are dozens of conferences and exhibitions dedicated to anti-aging products and services. There are an astonishing variety of products and no end to extraordinary claims. Well, in Japan, they use this to treat diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, acid reflux, gout, a number of uh, diseases. That's well a typical line. He said, in Japan, they use this to treat. Topic dermatitis, rosacea, acne, eczema. And it's even been documented to uh, help with gangrene. The evidence that they provide is either from another country or it's simply anecdotal. Well, anecdotal evidence is not scientifically proven, but it sounds like it is. Another tactic is to not suggest the product cures anything, but that it helps the body heal itself. What's it doing to the body? Well, just reminding the body of balance, homeostasis, just keeping it simple. What has the body forgotten? Our cells have memory. So therefore, you find if something happens to you, you find you may push it into your subconscious, but it's there in your cellular memory. So therefore, what this does is just brings it back into life. It you reminds, do it all with that? Yeah. All with this. Yeah. Quantum physics at its finest. Combine that with a little scientific jargon, and you've got a pretty good pitch. Here's another example. See if you can figure out what he's actually saying. What the machine is doing is taking a H2O molecule and snapping one of the hydrogens off. It's creating a negative bond around it, and that goes throughout your system, picking up positively charged free radicals. Because the average cell of your body gets attacked 15 thousand times a day by free radicals. Tell the difference. Can you see? Uh, Pretty big like claims that. for a glass of water from a smooth talking pitchman. Yet somehow we're always seduced by snake oil science. It has a long tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Feast your eyes on the magic elixir of life. For only one dollar, you can find relief from consumption, rheumatism, arthritis. Yes, it even provides relief from stomach upset and provides vitality to your life, especially your life in bed, if you know what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, one dollar. We're all familiar with the traveling salesman and his magic bottle of questionable ingredients. But there actually was a snake oil, and it did provide relief from pain. 
It was brought over from China by immigrant workers brought here to build the railway. It was made from the Chinese water snake, which this uh, used to be. The snake is boiled and then rendered, and you get an oil, which you can still buy today in traditional Chinese medicine shop, snake oil. This stuff is mixed with camphor, which gives it a very strong sort of uh, medicinal smell. It's very rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and it also contains antioxidants, which are believed to be involved in cellular repair in the body. This was rubbed on the muscles after a hard day's work on the railway. Uh, whether it worked or not is another issue, but any rub after a hard day's work is going to feel pretty good. But snake oil aside, the traveling medicine shows, especially the one promoted by famous circus owner P.T. Barnum, flogged a lot of fraudulent cures, usually involving the liberal use of spirits. The smooth talking salesmen were often the only option for health care in the Wild West. Doctors were rare, and disease was rampant. So anything that claimed to make you feel good was worth a shot. They were traveling salesmen, and maybe they sold other things too, like uh, shampoo, soap, hair dye, boot polish, you name it. They had all these other products as well, and their magical cure uh, might have been their top selling item. I think they were popular because people were frightened. I think that medicine had not pretended to be the powerful uh, promise of uh, science uh, that it became in the 20th century. So people aspired to look after their own health in a different kind of way than they do now. Patent medicines were so successful because people were desperate for any kind of health care. Doctors were few and far between. And they were effective, although in many cases because they contain a lot of alcohol, up to 45% in some cases. These were very popular in areas where prohibition was in effect. Some of them contained things like turpentine, so they tasted really bad. If it tastes bad, it must be good for you, right? And others were narcotic. There was one called Mrs. Winslow's Soothing Syrup. It came in a little bottle like this. It was to help your baby sleep at night, which it did using a healthy dose of morphine. Of course, if you overdid it, it could have fatal results. The, the traveling shows were also a form of entertainment when they came to town. These mini carnivals may be a thing of the past, but the pitch man isn't. Imagine being able to turn back the signs of aging and make your... Today's snake oil science is mostly related to anti-aging. People are desperately trying to hold on to their youth, and since death is inevitable, anything with a big promise is worth a try. It's also worth traveling to. And what better place to travel than <laughs> Las Vegas? It's a place where people gamble with their dreams. It also happens to be home to the world's largest anti-aging conference. There are hundreds and hundreds of products on display, some of them just make you shake your head. Here they sell everything from creams to pills, diet plans and gadgets. But do they work? Well, let's start with your skin. That's where the first signs of aging appear. One of the most common tricks used by the anti-aging industry to make you look younger is to literally scrape away the outer layers of your skin with exfoliants. The idea is to get rid of the dead layers on top, revealing younger looking skin underneath. Our skin's actually made up of many different layers and is constantly being replenished from below. In fact, you lose about two million skin cells every hour. Your house dust is made mostly of cells from your body and those of your pets. The new skin that's exposed by exfoliants is smoother, and it can glow pink. That's because the act of removing the cells is a slight irritation to the skin, so extra blood is sent there, which causes a slight inflammation. When the skin swells, it looks smoother. This is a trick used by many anti-aging products, but the effects don't last very long. Botox is the most extreme example of an irritant. It's a neurotoxin, botulinum, which is the most toxic substance known. But in very small quantities, it helps relax muscles that are in spasm. It was originally developed to help people with crossed eyes or twitching in the face. When it's injected into skin, it causes the muscles to relax, smoothing out the wrinkles. But it only lasts for a few months, so you have to keep coming back for more treatments. Some moisturizing creams use a similar inflammation effect. Moisturizers do not moisturize the skin in the sense that we think of it in, you know, taking a, a piece of leather and moisturizing it. That's not what moisturizers do at all. They produce that little bit of inflammation that uh, makes the skin look better, softer. But in doing so, they also make the skin drier so that moisturizers dry your skin. Now, there are some other creams that claim to work a little deeper below the surface of the skin, this one claims to use cells from an animal that will train your cells to be younger. 
The type of cells that we use, they're actually called equine cells. So equine cells, equine is the horse, so we take cells from the horse. The reason that we use the horse is the fact that it is the most biocompatible with our skin. Horse cells in a skin cream. We had to ask a stem cell expert about this one. I think one of the most interesting things is that, that they, um, they claim that this contains live cells. Um, if these cells were alive when they were put into this emulsion, and they are no longer alive. Cells have to be kept either at 37 degrees to be fully alive in the right kind of support medium, or frozen at minus 80 or minus 150 degrees in the right kind of formulation. I don't see that happening here. The product line itself is actually based on stem cell research. So what we can do is we can take that cell, keep it completely intact. By doing that, to recreate a cell itself, there's thousands and thousands of components that are involved. Stem cells are an exciting new area of science with huge potential for health. When you were conceived, you started out as a little ball of cells that were all identical to each other. Those are the stem cells, and each one has the potential to become any part of your body. Then later on in development, through some process that's still not well understood, these generalists became specialists, and they turned into things like hair, eyeball, skin, brain, heart, whatever. Well, the idea behind stem cell research is to cultivate the primitive cells before they specialize in a culture just like this and you keep this as a bank so if some part of your body wears out and you need to replace it say you need some new skin or even a new organ you grow it out of these it's a great idea but so far only a few experiments have been done in the laboratory however the anti-aging industry has picked up on this idea and they're using it to sell their products complete with scientific sounding jargon so are you saying that you're actually growing new skin, growing new cells? We're not causing new cells to grow. When we're regenerating, we're re-stimulating the cells that you already have that are within the skin. Unfortunately, I mean, it's the, it's the nasty end of stem cell science. Stem cells can be uh, incredibly useful in understanding how different organs revitalize themselves. But using them topically is not going to revitalize anybody's skin or anybody's organs. If creams are not your thing, well, how about a little electrosculpting? This is another way to irritate the skin and cause a swelling. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's warm. Burning or no, just... This treatment actually felt like I was getting a sunburn. The principle that these devices work on is a bit like uh, throwing a steak on the barbecue. You take a steak, throw it on the barbecue, immediately you see the proteins contract. You see that contraction and we know that when you damage, when you heat proteins, that's what happens, it contracts. So we'll attempt, no, we're not using a barbecue, but we're attempting to heat collagen so that it contracts. And then your body says, ah, oh, that's damaged collagen, I'm gonna go and repair it. And over the next six months, you'll get some tightening. So you'll see over the next six months whether the device that they used on you actually was effective but you won't see it immediately. If we just do one side, should we see a difference between this side yes, and that side? Yes, yes, you'll have to see a difference. I'm not sure how well my skin was sculpted, but it sure felt itchy for the rest of the day. Damaging the collagen in your skin this way is similar to hard exercise. When you push your muscles, you actually cause some tearing, which your body repairs with extra muscle cells. Damaging the collagen triggers a similar repair in your skin, but any effect you do get from this type of treatment is only temporary. You have to continuously return to the clinic for more fluffing up. Special water? Yeah. When we come back, miracle products that fight aging from the inside, from your genes to the very the water. water your body is made of. We've got over eight people that, uh, that after drinking the water after a certain amount of time, um, after, that their cancer is no longer there. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around and I will tell you about the wonderful properties of magic water. If you want the all-natural product, the clear choice, nature's own elixir, here it is, wondrous magic water. I'm just pouring myself a nice glass of dihydrous monoxide. Chemical formula, H2O. And we're supposed to drink eight glasses of this stuff every day because our bodies are made mostly of water and it needs to be replenished. If you go completely without water, you've got less than a week to live. It's the giver of life. The water industry is big business these days, giving us water fortified with calcium, vitamins, minerals, even oxygen. 
O2 aqua with added oxygen. This is a really interesting marketing gimmick, oxygenated water. The water is naturally oxygen. That's what the O in H2O is, one oxygen, two hydrogen. And even if you dissolve oxygen in this water, which you could do, when you drink it, it goes into your stomach. That's not how our bodies absorb oxygen. You want to take in some extra oxygen? Do this. <sighs> That's what lungs do. If you try drinking oxygen, it'll just make you burp. And then there's alkaline water, with the most outrageous claims of all. Gives you a lot of antioxidants, and also very alkaline water, and it also microclusters water. It makes it one quarter the size of a regular water molecule cluster, so it's able to penetrate all the cells of your body and hydrate and detoxify them. And this machine, once it goes through this machine, it breaks the water molecules down, so it's anywhere from three to six parts per cluster. So it's like, use the analogy of if you threw baseballs at a chain link fence, not many of the baseballs are gonna make it through. But if you threw marbles at a chain link fence, a lot of the marbles are going to make it through. And the marbles represent canyon water, the baseballs represent tap water or bottled water, and the fence represents the cells of your body. I didn't know that water could cluster together in lumps. I think a, a physicist or, a, or an inorganic chemist would have a field day with microclusters of water. As far as I know, water comes in three forms, solid, liquid, and gas. And if it's a liquid and we drink it, water is water. As far as water penetrating our cells, <clears throat> our, our bodies, and in fact, almost all organisms on Earth, are, are based on water. Uh, our membranes are designed to have water pass in both directions freely. And there's, I don't think there's anything necessary to encourage or discourage the movement of water in and out of our cells. Take a look at the name tag on this man wearing a lab coat. The cross-shaped symbol is remarkably close to the symbol of the American Medical Association. When I asked him for his qualifications, he told me he's an actor from Hollywood. You can actually drink about 30 ounces of that water and never feel it full in your stomach because it takes 60 seconds for that water to hit your brain. Well, these are pretty extraordinary claims for water. So we've come to Kangen headquarters in Los Angeles, California, to find out if there's any scientific evidence to back up these claims. I've got over eight people that, uh, that after drinking the water after a certain amount of time, um, that their cancer is no longer there. And uh, they really didn't change anything with their uh, other procedures, just changes the water. How can the company be allowing somebody in a, in a white lab coat that looks like a doctor to be making these outrageous claims? The company is very, very clear that we do not make these kinds of claims. And if they're making these claims, they're making them for themselves as distributor of the product. The company is, makes it very clear that this is not a medicine. This is not a substitute for treatment of uh, standard diseases by your physician, by your uh, primary care doctor or whatever. This is not what the company does. Uh, testimonials technically are things that are legal to use as long as they pertain to only one person and it is his belief. What you just said is very reasonable. That's not what he's saying. I'm just disturbed by this is public deception. The evidence uh, that this by itself does all that is probably non-existent. Uh, I do think, however, that the water is an adjunct that because it hydrates the body better, makes a person feel better, helps the immune system indirectly to heal itself. I mean, it's not a medicine, it's water. Water, of course, has always been the ultimate cleanser. Hot springs and spas were supposed to relax and restore your body. Drinking Vichy water would cleanse the body of whatever ails you. Today, the anti-aging industry believes we've got more toxins in our body than ever, and they have the miracle products to get rid of them more toxic material out of your system. But it's leaking toxins from the knee that has unresolved healing issues into the body. Uh, electro smog, the things that affect us all around us, mm -hmm. all the chemicals and toxins in the environment. So what are all these toxins in the body that these products are supposed to get rid of? There's no question that we're exposed to these things every day of our lives, but the reality is our bodies are very, very well equipped to deal with almost all of these. And the only time it ever becomes a problem is if we have occupational exposure to some particular type of man-made toxin or pollutant that might overwhelm our natural defenses. But by and large, for the, the average consumer, the average person, uh, really it's, it's almost not an issue. So this is the Ion Detox Foot Spa. I've got my feet in a foot bath here that's nice and warm. Uh, there's some rather disgusting brown stuff coming out there. I have electrodes on my neck that are pulsing. I have a ground on my wrist, which completes an electrical circuit, and I have a thing around my waist that just feels kind of warm. And what's happening is these ions, both positive and negative, are gonna tax themselves on the cellular level of all of your organs, grab the toxins, i.e. free radicals, and expunge them to the 2,000 sweat glands in the bottom of your feet. Uh, so Alan, uh, what's the brown 
brown stuff that uh, seems to be coming out of my feet here. Well, I actually see th two things going on. The brown stuff that's uh, that's coming out, that's uh, cell debris from your liver. The other thing is, it's it's kind of hard to see, but the little oil slick looking stuff on the top, it uh, looks like there's little patches of oil slick, yeah. basically right here and here and here. Yeah. That's actually coming from your immune system. It's mucus from your, your lymph nodes. You'll find pesticides in there, you'll find heavy metals in there, but 95% of the stuff that's coming out is actually stuff from the environment, stuff we can't control because we live in such a toxic world. And you see all the bubbling now that's coming? That's really mucus from your lymphatic system. That's. I, I don't feel as healthy as I did when I first well, started. Well, you're, you're starting to get healthy now, Bob. <laughs> I have to admit, seeing all that brown stuff around my feet and being told that it came out of my body is a pretty powerful experience. But let me show you that reaction again without my feet. Well, let's just turn this on and watch what happens for 30 minutes. Almost immediately, I start to see brown streaks coming out of that white disc in the center into the water. What you're seeing here is the same thing that happens to cars in the winter time that are in provinces where they put salt on the roads. It's rust galvanic response because that disc contains two stainless steel plates with electricity running between them so the ions which are pieces of atoms are flowing through the water from one to the other it's rust that's being accelerated by the electricity that's the brown now if we just let this go it'll get darker and darker if i put my feet in it it'll get darker than without my feet but that's because of the sweat and the oils in my skin which form a kind of soap that floats to the top so that's what's going on here. It's not toxins that come out of your body. The toxins in your body are dealt with by your kidneys and your liver, and they are put out through your urine. They don't come out through the bottom of your feet. Speaking of feet and machines, how about shaking the bad stuff out of your body? So what's it doing to my body? What is it basically doing? Your body is not used to the vibration or the force you're receiving. You're right. It's an isometric <laughs> system, so it's fighting back against you. See, if I had you on a treadmill, would you be smiling this much? Um, no. No, probably not. Definitely. <laughs> so you're having, you're, you're having fun while working out. Right. But it's, what's it doing to my, my muscles? It's giving you a nice blood circulation, with along, which along with that, you get a nice transfer of uh, oxygen into your system. It does increase your uh, metabolism, so you will burn more fat. Ah. It is burning more calories for you. But I'm not doing the work, the machine's not, doing the work. Exactly. So how can I burn question. calories if I'm not working? Your muscles are working with whole body vibration. They realize that they will increase bone density, which mm. is wonderful for osteoporosis, arthritis, and inflammation. Now, if you give me your hands <laughs> and hold on to this side, yeah, and lean a little bit forward. Mm. See, it's working on, <gasps> not, not on your legs, not on your, uh -huh. not on your knee, but the, the upper part. You're working on the obliques here. And you can focus on every position one minute at a time only. I used there to have a car go. like this. <laughs> like an old car, our body parts just wear out over time. So what if we could prevent those parts from wearing out? Would we live longer? Well, the anti-aging industry thinks so, and it's counting on some new science that holds this promise. At the heart of the aging process is your DNA. Every time your cells divide, parts of the DNA are damaged. So if we could prevent that damage, cells might live longer. This is an interesting idea that won the Nobel Prize in 2009. Think of your chromosomes as a long roll of tickets. And on the ends of the roll are extra pieces of DNA called telomeres. And they protect the ends. They keep them from fraying and coming apart. Well, every time a cell divides and makes new cells, these telomeres are torn off. And eventually, they get shorter and shorter and shorter, and you run out. Then they're too short for the cell to go any further, so it turns on something called apoptosis, or programmed cell death. The cell basically commits suicide. So it looks like our cells are designed to only live for so long. Well, it turns out there's a natural enzyme called telomerase that's involved in protecting these telomeres. So the idea is if you could prevent their loss, you could make the cells live longer. Who knows? Maybe you could even make the cells live forever. We have a product, TA65, that activates that enzyme, which is what all this science is all about. It's the only one in the world, and it can make cells do two things, live longer and have uh, changed the gene expression to a younger phenotype. A younger phenotype means like a younger cell, so it makes cells younger and it makes them live longer. It sounds almost too simple for a pill. Would it actually work? If you look at what happens with mice, for example, 
mice. You turn the telomerase back on in these mice, and you think, oh, they should live longer because they no longer are going to run short on telomeres and they won't have all these aging associated problems. Well, they do have some improvements, like they, they heal wounds better when they're, they get to be older and so on, but they don't actually live longer because now they start developing lots of cancer. They get lots of, of blood cancers, they get lots of breast cancer, they get lots of epithelial theal cancers. And so in the end, they don't actually live longer. They're just dying of something else. And you don't want to open the door to cancer. When we come back, turning back the clock electromagnetically. I said, we're going to be sending a stimulus through the neck applicator into your body while feeling the pulse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the idea of taking a dark potion, an elixir, into your body is not an attractive idea. I understand. You might not want any dark liquids running through your veins. Well, for you, I have just a thing. A device that harnesses the power of Thor himself. A device that creates electricity. Miniature lightning bolts that soothe the skin, calm your nerves, and ease the mind. Now, don't worry, these lightning bolts are safe. They have been stripped of all their power, except the power to heal. The human body is, in fact, a hive of electrical activity. Our nerves use electrochemical signals so our brain can tell our muscles how to move, react to the environment, even hold on to our thoughts. All this activity creates an electric field surrounding our body that can be measured with sensitive instruments. Well, the anti-aging industry has tapped into this fact with a wide variety of gadgets that claim to improve your health by balancing your fields. This is a neck applicator and we introduce pulsed electromagnetic fields into your body that are specific to you. So we range it from 0 0.1 to 32,000 hertz. They're all therapeutic frequencies to create a stimulus in the body that uh, makes the cells and tissue vibrate. Scanning, finding the location and treating uh, a location that we find through the help of your pulse. Okay, so shall we Okay, try? we're just gonna pick a program. I'm going to feel your pulse. Okay. And as I said, I'm gonna be sending a stimulus through this neck applicator into your body while feeling the pulse. Am I gonna feel anything? No, I'm already doing it. Oh, you are? Okay. It is so totally non-invasive. Because I don't feel anything at all. No, you don't, that's correct. But the machine is on. Oh, really? Oh. When I'm You have a very scanning. sensitive thumb. That's my heart, isn't it? No, no, this is your stomach. <laughs> oh. So we can find underlying dysfunctions. This knee is showing up. Wow. You have hey, any issues with the knee? I'm impressed. I had surgery on that knee. This knee bugs me. See, this is a lie detector. You cannot <laughs> hide. <laughs> so any healing is done by your body, not by the outside. The outside is simply a stimulus to help you kick in the, your own healing response. Heal myself. Okay. That is correct. All right. I have to tell you that I felt nothing at all from this magnetic scanner until she passed the wand over my knee. If she'd waved anything over that limb, my pulse would have gone up because I'm sensitized to it. Feeling my pulse was a very clever trick to monitor my reactions. She didn't need the machine at all, just her finger on my wrist. But do magnetic fields affect the body? Well, there's been lots of talk about what magnetic fields do to humans. I mean, the whole controversy about pe people being underneath uh, transmission power lines, uh, people using cell phones, and whether uh, radio frequency waves or, or, or magnetism causes adverse health effects. To my knowledge, there's no good credible scientific studies that, that demonstrate positive or negative impacts of uh, magnetic fields. So if a magic wand doesn't do much for the body, what about the mind? The greatest concentration of electrical activity in the body is, of course, the brain. More than 100 trillion synapses are continually firing in the most complex system in nature. Every thought, every memory, everything you think and do is because of this incredible dance of electricity in the brain. So can it get out of balance too? Maybe my brain needs to be balanced. What are you, what are you going to be looking at? These sensors are able to pick up your brainwave activity, so they're gelled. So your brain is constantly emitting electrical activity, and with sensors we're able to read your brainwave activity. And by reading it and sending it into our system, we're able to measure it. And then the, the photic lights are then able to change a pattern to, to disentrain your dominant frequency. Okay, so let's try these. Okay. Yeah. And so we're going to give you some music to actually tell your brain when it's making the correct pattern. So you're going to hear Bocelli singing to you. Okay. 
And when Bocelli's playing, your brain is making the correct pattern. So it's a little bit like a cheerleader. It's telling you, hey, this is the right area. This oh, okay. is the right, this, saying, is, this is it. The machine actually did affect my brain. It gave me a headache. But as for affecting brain patterns, not a chance. These machines use only a tiny fraction of the magnetic fields emitted by an MRI scanning machine, and people stick their heads right into the center of these powerful machines with no effect on their brains at all. Short of a dose of electromagnetic radiation that would cause the lights to dim, these devices have no effect on the body, good or bad. And how about this device? It involves balancing the brain somehow, but rather than tapping into my brain's electrical activity, it claims to use quantum physics. So what you're going to get is pure mathematical code streaming through the computer, through your USB port, through a converter box, into pure quartz crystal terminator rods, which you'll hold in your hand. Yeah, so what's, very, what's it actually put in? You say mathematical code. Right? right, mathematical code. This is a whole different technology, very futuristic. So you put this on. Yeah. And you're going to hold this in your hand so that the crystal is totally closed. And you can make a fist over it because a lot more energy comes off the tip of the crystal. Okay. And Wouldn't I just also get relaxed just by listening to this nice music and looking at the uh, Yes, patterns? yes. Do I but need see, the crystals? Uh, yes, you do need the crystals because oh. that's the only way. We think Superman crystals. Remember Superman? Right. He was Fortress downloading information. Where, where does the quantum come into this? Okay. This machine... I'd have to tell you, this machine was information brought back from a near-death experience I had in 2003. Wow. And I started, actually turned into a quantum physics geek. And uh, I was shown how to mathematically code every substance out there. And I think the scientists in the quantum world are in agreement with that right now, that the whole world is mathematically, you know, is filled with math. So Everything. You, you, you put the, the math of the universe in here, and it's now talking back to me. <laughs> uh, well, not of the whole universe, oh, okay. but <laughs> this is more futuristic technology. Technology. It's very cutting edge. It's kind of out there. Yeah. How did you figure and, uh, out what And I'll let you know, I've I... never done anything different, and I'm 57 years old. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm 103. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. When we come back, the one truly effective anti-aging product. We really don't know, but actually the placebo effect with drugs and or natural things is probably about 50%. Mm. So, who cares? Gentlemen, step right up and feast your eyes on the most effective, the safest, guaranteed to make you feel better medicine on the planet. There are no side effects, there are no risks, why it even tastes good. It's the most proven medicine on the planet. No risks. Is it why possible it that there really is an effective anti-aging potion out there that actually works? Well, there is. It's called the placebo effect. That's when people feel better after taking a dummy medication because they didn't know the pill was fake. Placebos are used in large drug trials where patients are divided into two groups. One gets the real drug, the other gets a sugar pill or a placebo, which contains no medication at all. Neither group or the doctor knows who has the real stuff, so the effectiveness of the drug can be tested. The interesting thing about these tests is that the people who take the placebo also report that they feel better after taking their medication. So something is happening. So it's the old laying on of hands. If a doctor's able to put his hand on your shoulder and say, we're seeing a lot of this right now and it should go away in a few days and all the people I'm seeing are recovering, just that appears to reduce people's anxiety. Anxiety is associated with the production of some stress hormones like cortisol. So if you have less of that cortisol in your body, then your immune system can function better and, uh, and deal with the issue. Their black bag was the placebo. Showing up at your house, they really had nothing that poultices and, and bloodletting and leeches and things that either did nothing or were potentially harmful, yet people still got better. Even the people selling products such as these dietary food supplements admit to the placebo effect. Now, I noticed on your, um, on your brochure here, it says on the back that it, uh, warning, <laughs> it may restore age memory, or it may do this, it may do that. Why do you say it that way? Well, I think we say it like that because this is what people are looking for, and these are the positive things. And if they do happen, people are super happy, and they do happen. Right. So, and warnings, people, people pay attention to that, <laughs> right? So. Uh, are you, but are you saying it'll actually do that, or it just might do that? Well, it might, and most likely will. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when, uh, when it comes to things like in your brain, just the fact that you're taking something makes you feel better, the placebo effect, right? The placebo effect with drugs and or natural things is probably about 50%. Mm -hmm. So, who cares?
cares? <laughs> if it works, it works. And if you make it, if it's a placebo effect, it's great. So with all the placebos and bogus claims made at an event like this one in Las Vegas, how can the organizers defend it? Honestly, there are things here that I feel very strongly about, and most of it I feel very strongly about is good, hard science. And there are a few things here that I scratch my head and I say, well, I'd like to keep an open mind. I don't quite understand it as well as I would like to, but I'm going to keep an open mind, and, and maybe some of the other doctors can educate me. I've been surprised. Some great discoveries have come from left field, and we want to be open to anything that works. With so much snake oil on the market, why do intelligent people still buy into the anti-aging business? I don't, I want to avoid having surgery when I get older. I don't want to have a facelift, um, so I'm going to try and use creams and lasers as much as possible. So what did you just have done to you? You were there in the chair a long time. I had, uh, I guess, a, what they call a facial treatment. Not so much uh, a cosmetic thing as a skin care to try and eliminate some of the signs of aging. <laughs> How do you feel? It feels great, and it actually it looks really, really good in comparison to the other side that didn't get done. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, there, there's a difference here? Let's oh, see. there yeah. isn't. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You've got, you've got energy. You've got a beautiful smile. You know, do you really need all of this stuff? What about just living, living right, eating well? You, well know? you know, you sound a lot like my husband <laughs> who says, why are you going to these shows? Why do you want a facelift? And, you know, it's more for what I want for me than what I want for anybody else. And if you do buy into the anti-aging business, how do you know who to trust? Snake oil salesmen in every in every every profession. In the, uh, I would hope that the medical profession has less of those than than many other professions, but they're everywhere. And you can't trust everybody. So, as I said, it's very difficult. Who do you trust? Yeah, I think you have to be an intelligent, informed consumer. You have to ask the right questions, and, and, and if you're if you've got any sort of a scientific bent, you're going to understand the answer. And if you if you if you don't understand the answer, then walk. If you don't have any sort of a scientific bent, then you're unfortunately one of those people that's going to get sucked into the uh, into the purchase, and you know, in all likelihood, not going to be happy with it. Getting older involves much more than just your body parts wearing out like an old car. There are many factors involved in aging, and they all affect us differently. The candles on your cake only mark the passage of time. Your real age depends on your attitude, your lifestyle, and the environment that you live in. Now, of course, genes do play a certain role here. Uh, if your parents live to extreme old age, there's a good chance you could too. On the other hand, if your family has a history of cancer, diabetes, or other genetic diseases, you could be susceptible to those as well. But some people seem to beat the aging process without using any miracle products at all. Meet Molly Mills. She's 71 years old. Her youthful looks are the result of a good attitude towards life and healthy living. Well, I exercise every day and I eat properly. I don't smoke, I don't drink. I would have a glass of wine with a friend if I go for dinner. And I eat healthy. If you really want to beat the ravages of time and look younger, it always comes down to healthy living. I mean, look at young people. They all have the same basic body shape because they haven't had enough life experience and their environment hasn't had a chance to influence their shape. They're also always running around. But when you look at older people, the differences between us are greater than the similarities. Some people seem youthful for their age, others seem old before their time. And that's because we've all had different life experiences. And those experiences were based on choices we made. Choices about activity levels, the food we eat, whether we choose to smoke or drink, and all of that affects how quickly we age and how long we live. Let's get out and enjoy our life every minute. Live it as though it was the last. This is my last day. I'm going to have fun. I mean, you don't take pills to these young know. Well, you know, I'd take a pill for certain occasions, but that's it. <laughs> but that's it. Okay? For the rest of my youth pills, nah, forget it. Really, if you want to live longer, it's got to come from the inside out. You can't apply it on the outside with a cream. You can't swallow it in a pill, and you certainly can't have a gadget do it for you. Ultimately, it pretty much comes down to what your grandma taught you. Eat right and exercise.